Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Today we will discuss one question where we are required to do primary distribution, secondary distribution of overheads as well as we are required to find out cost per unit of the product. Let us read this question. Super class company limited has three production departments X, Y and Z and two service departments A and B. The following estimated figures for a certain periods have been made available. Rent and rates 10,000. Lighting and electricity 1,200. Indirect wages 3000 power 3000 depreciation of machinery 20000 other expenses and sundries 20000 the following details are provided by the firm floor space in square meters Total 10,000, Department X 2,000, Y 2,500, Z 3,000, Service Department A and B 2,500. Lighting points, total 120, Department X 20, Department Y 30, Department Z 40, Service Department A 20, Service Department B 10. Direct wages total 20,000, Department X 6,000, Department Y 4,000, Department Z 6,000, Service Department A 3,000, Service Department B 1,000. Horsepower of machines 300, Department X 120, Y 60, Z 100, Department A 20 and there is no use in Department B. Cost of machinery, total 1 lakh, Department X 24,000, Y 32,000, Z 40,000, Department A B 2,000 each. Working hours, Department X 4670, Y 3020, Z 3050. The expenses of service department A and B are to be allocated as follows. This information is relevant for secondary distribution of overage. Overheads of service department A between department X, Y, Z 20%, 30%, 40% and in case of service department B it is 10%. Overheads of service department B among X, Y, Z in the ratio of 40%, 20%, 30% in case of department A 10%. You are required to calculate the overheads absorption rate per hour in respect of three production departments. What will be the total cost of an article with material cost of rupees 80, direct labor cost rupees 40, which passes through X, Y, Z for 2, 3 and 4 hours respectively. We are required to do first primary distribution.
we are required to record all expenses Let us divide expenses, rent and rates. This will be allocated in the ratio of floor space. Next, we have lighting and electricity. This will be divided in the ratio of lighting points. Next expense we have indirect wages. It will be allocated on the basis of direct wages. Next expense we have power, horsepower of machines. Next expense we have depreciation, it will be based on cost of machinery. Next expense we have other expenses and sundries. This will be allocated in the ratio of direct wages. We have considered all expenses. Now we are required to record direct wages only for service departments. We have allocated all expenses now let us take column totals to arrive at primary distribution.
continue let us proceed for secondary overhead distribution total overheads as per primary distribution allocated we have calculated will be copying this in our second table of secondary distribution as per information in the problem services of department a is used by x y z in the ratio of 20 percent 30 percent and 40 percent total it becomes 90 percent and 10 percent of its services are used by b department in case of services of b department x y and z are using 40 percent 20 percent 30 percent it again comes to 90 percent and 10% are used by A department. We are required to consider these respective shares of expenses by respective departments are over its which are required to be allocated for X, Y and Z. So even this 10% of B department will be apportioned to X, Y, Z. This 10% of A department will be apportioned to X, Y, Z. Thus, we have divided all expenses as mentioned in the question. Now, we can take total of X, Y and Z columns to get the actual amount of overage distributed. That is, in case of X, 18,556. In case of Y, 18,183. And in case of Z, 24,461. Now let us calculate overheads absorption rate per hour. We got total overheads for department X 18,556, department Y 18,183, department Z 24,461. Working hours are given in the question here. Working hours X4670, Y3020 and Z3050. We got amount of total overheads, we got amount of working hours. So total overheads figure will divide by working hours.
so we have calculated rate per hour total over is divided by working hours a divided by b we got rate per hour in case of department x 3.9734 in case of y 6.0208 in case of z it is 8.02 let us find out now cost per unit we are required to calculate cost per unit we have some information already in the question what will be total cost of an article with material cost rupees 80 so material cost rupees 80 per unit is already given in the question and direct labor cost rupees 40 direct labor cost is also given rupees 40 per unit of article statement of cost per unit we are required to record material cost as given in the question direct labor cost we are required to consider over its article which passes through x y z in case of x 2 hours so in case of y 3 hours in case of z 4 hours thus now we have calculated rate of labor per hour same we are required to apply over here we are having rate per hour for department X, department Y, department Z. We'll copy this in our next sheet. Per hour rate is given, we are required to multiply it by 2, 3 and 4. So it is approximately 58 rupees 09. So we got cost per unit 179 rupees 09 paise. In this question, we have learned how to calculate cost per unit also along with primary and secondary distribution and calculation of labor hour rates. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.